So looking back and reflecting on this past year, what's one thing that you've learned? This year, I've learned a lot of patience. I think reflecting on a lot of new challenges and journeys that I've been on, kind of new changes in my life, um, and just being comfortable with who I am. Sometimes I need to stop pushing myself too much and kind of enjoy things, uh, especially now that I'm in fourth year. Like I want to enjoy my last year. I guess just perseverance because uh, especially going into grad school and just working on some big projects and all the things going on in my life, sometimes it doesn't feel like you're going to make it to the next week and you kind of just have to keep taking it day by day. I learned how to put on a really good show. I think that's a great skill and I was really excited uh, to put all these successful shows that showcases original music uh, made by our own students. What's one memory that stands out to you? <laughs> From this year, hmm. I guess my, my graduation day, my, my commencement for my bachelor's was just past June, so that was a really important day for me, especially as a first generation college grad. I got like um, this really cool projector for Black Friday and I just got here and it's the coolest thing ever. I helped do an album release show and just the night was so fun. Everyone had an amazing time. It was time to celebrate original music as well as just party and hang out with each other and I just loved it. Yeah, I'm getting this little guy. Um, he's pretty new. We got him about seven to eight weeks ago. Um, so he's uh, changed my life completely. Well, yeah, very happy about that. What's his name? Woody Woodford. Looking forward to 2024. How are you feeling? <laughs> Scared. Um, <laughs> um, it's an it's, uh, interesting time to be alive. Yeah, looking forward to um, making uh, the most of my last year at Western? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I haven't really thought about it too much. Um, kind of, I feel like the year goes by quicker and quicker each time and you always find yourself um, ready for the next one and you always feel like you have to set these big, big expectations for the new year. So feeling um, okay and just wanting to continue where I'm at, not really making any dramatic changes or anything like that.